An arms cache exploded in Equatorial Guinea, killing dozens and injuring hundreds. Dynamite was among the weapons stored in a military facility that went up in flames on Sunday. Dramatic footage showed dazed residents wandering around the streets of Bata after the unexpected eruptions. Residents heard at least four explosions. Not knowing it was accidental, many thought they were under attack. Some fled and some soldiers living nearby went into defensive actions. The devastation was still being evaluated into Monday morning as authorities continue to look for survivors among the rubble. President Teodoro Anguema Obiang blamed negligence for the disaster. A similar but even more horrifying explosion took place in Beirut, Lebanon in September of last year, killing 200. 10,000 lost their homes in that accident, with thousands of others injured. It was caused by improperly stored ammonium nitrate, a key ingredient in large explosives. The incidents highlight the need for proper storage of bomb ingredients. Amisom and the Somali government recently issued new guidelines for storing and keeping track of such materials. The African Union mission to Somalia is trying to keep seized weapons from falling into the hands of Al-Shabaab terrorists. Amisom will continue to work jointly on preventing recovered weapons from falling again into the wrong hands. This harmonized SOP is developed to provide guidance on the processes and the procedures that are required um, to, to guide uh, uh, FGS and AMISOM in our joint effort to ensure effective management of recovered small arms and light weapon. But preventing the kind of conflagration that devastated Beirut and now Bata could also come from the new procedures. Abi said M. Ali is Somalia's national security advisor. The proper management of recovered weapons, especially through this harmonized SOP, will ensure that we have transparency on how to integrate the national stockpiles on everything that is happening, especially on weapons and arms management. This will help strengthen the capacity of the security sector. The new guidelines are being distributed to federal soldiers, state security forces, and Amazon peacekeepers. ADN-TV will continue to update you on the security situation in Somalia.